What's up? Welcome back to my weekly recap of my mini $300 Forex trading account. If you're new here, my name is Tyler and welcome to my channel. As always, if you missed the last video, I will link it in the top right of this video in the little video tag card. Alright, so this week I didn't get into any trades. I have my eyes on two pairs and those are GBP, JPY, and USD CAD. I'm still in the Euro JPY trade. Nothing new with this trade, just still consolidating. But I want to go over GBP, JPY, and USD CAD. Alright, so first let's talk about USD CAD. So for this trade, I have a supply zone. I have two zones marked down. One right here and one right here. One using this doji candle as my basing candle. And the other one using this bullish pin bar as my basing candle. I've added few Fibonacci retracements to this setup. Alright, so if you first start right here from this first supply zone to set down the beginning of the Fibonacci retracement and you drag it all the way down to this point right here is when the downward movement stopped. If you set that there, you can see right here at this golden zone, the 0.618 zone of the Fibonacci retracement, you can see that it's inside the second or one of the supply zones. Now, if you look at what happened to price once it reaches this zone, you can see that it has rejection here and then there's some movement downwards. So at the open of next week, I'm hoping price would do a little tiny pullback upwards and then trigger my sell order and then hopefully it will do its continued movement downwards. All right, next is GBP JPY. GJ looks to be in a consolidating phase on the daily. So looking at this point here at this uh, bearish pin bar, I have my demand zone set as the basing is basing off of this pin bar and then on the second uh, demand zone I have this uh, doji as my basic. Alright so using the Fibonacci retracement starting at the first demand zone and then calculating this first movement upwards if you end it here you can see that at this 6 I mean 0 0.618 ratio you can see that it's in line with the second demand zone. Now Look at what happens to price once it reaches the zone. So at first here, when it reached my zone the first time, it went down, it rejected it, and then it came back again to test the zone again and it rejected. So hopefully um, this can go down and test the zone again. And I may get a I may get into this trade to calculate on to see if it has like another move upwards. But I need to be careful because this has been already tested twice and it's there could be a high possibility that when it tested it again, when it's going to test it again, it might break down, like break through this zone and then probably head into this next demand zone and hope it might hopefully reject here and then I could calculate on a movement upwards. But there's also an opportunity at this point up here where... It's a supply zone and it's constantly getting rejected so maybe in the upcoming week I will see how price reacts into the zone and I may get into a sell order and try to collect some pips on a downward movement but we'll see whenever the market opens next week hopefully I can get into something all right so that's it for this little recap of last week there's nothing really happened because I didn't take any trades I had my trade set in, but none of them got triggered. So hopefully, yeah, next week I can get into some quality trades. Maybe some opportunities will come up, hopefully. So if you made it this far into the video, I appreciate you staying to the end. And don't forget to leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so yet to see the future episodes. That's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one.